Another day, another dollar here at Kathleen High School. I'm Alberto Camargo. And apparently I can't listen to music during school. Nor can I have a hat. But now my hair's messed up. Okay, no. No, 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 you're right. I can't wear a tank during school. It's out of dress code. And that's what this entire show is about. Welcome to Ignition TV. <laughs> Bro, Officer Alicia, bro, she's chasing me. For what, your hat? Yes. Then take it off. No, bro, I got a bad haircut. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bro, get out of here. Man, help get me out, out of here. Dude. Look, I don't have to worry about running into Officer Alicia because I'm in dress code. But for those of you who choose to violate dress code, take a look at what she does to violators. And let me tell you right now, it is not pretty. Two out of ten high school students do not follow the school dress code. That's 20% of the student body at Kathleen High School. You have the right to remain solid. Anything you say can and will be used against you when I am telling your parents. If we cannot reach a parent, we won't be appointed to you. Congratulations, you just got yourselves a one-way ticket to the choice room for not following school dress code. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Put them pants up, boy. <clears throat> if you don't want your grandma wearing it, then don't wear it to school. My, my, my. I must be hungry. Do you got any tomato sauce to go with those spaghetti straps you got on? So remember, Kathleen, we have a dress code to abide by. So make sure you all abide. Now that you all know just exactly what will happen to you if you choose to violate the dress code, you may be asking yourself, well, I want to stay fashionable. You know, I still want to look good in school, but I don't want to violate the dress code. And I understand. You know, I do do. I mean, look what I'm wearing now. It's in dress code and it's fashionable. I could be wearing a shirt like this or a shirt like this. You see? A red polo, nice and fashionable, still in dress code. Or even something like this. Still a nice shirt. And yes, I'm still in dress code. So let's find out how other Kathleen students stay in dress code while also staying nice and clean. Hi Kathleen, I'm Janae. In about 10 seconds, these hallways will be flooded with students either going to their classroom or to lunch. But I bet the number one question this morning was, what am I going to wear? Because here at Kathleen, we do have a dress code, so you can't wear any and everything. So today, I'm going to go around and ask students why is dress code so important and how can you stay fashionable? I think dress code is important because although we want to express ourselves, we want to keep a professional attire throughout the school. I can stay in dress code yet be fashionable by wearing a simple hoodie. Um, you can stay in dress code and still be fashionable by um, wearing, you can wear a simple Adidas jacket like me. You can be in dress code yet stay fashionable by presenting yourself and just wearing anything you would like but still stay in dress code. Dress code is important because you want to look presentable and you never know who's, who's looking at you. Stay in dress code and look fashionable by not dressing out, like completely out of hand. You can keep your fans pulled up and just wear a nice shirt. You can't wear tights, but we could wear a skirt over it so it can look fashionable, but yet cute. So uh, dress code is important because so we don't wear pajamas and look ratchet or we have holes in our pants. Dress code is important because if you dress successful, you'll think successful. Dress code is important because it keeps our children more proper looking. Well, Kathleen, I did my part by giving you the information. Now it's up to you how you apply it. But if I was you, I would really take my advice because I wouldn't want to run into Officer Alicia. FCA invites you to come out to the four-week study of Jesus Christ every Wednesday from 2.30 to 3.30 here in the Choice Room starting on March 4th. Please email Coach Troutman if you have any more information at anthony.troutman at polk-florida.net. Grad Bash will be taking place on April 25th at Universal Studios in Orlando. Seniors, don't forget to pay your $100 cash or money order to Miss Lewis here in the Freshman Building. And uh, make sure you're ready to apologize to your wallet. He's going to need it. The Fine Arts Wing. The home of the pride of Kathleen Marching Band. The force that truly keeps our sporting events and pep rallies so dynamic. But I gotta say, there's one thing about them that truly stinks, and it's their uniforms. It smells terrible. They're years old, and it's time for them to be replaced. 
And just to get through this hallway, I'm gonna need the help of this gas mask. So let me put this on and get through. Ugh. I don't, I don't, I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked. Through hundreds of concerts, football games, and even parades. But no, we're not talking about the band itself. We're talking about the uniforms and all their ripped up, overused, smelly glory. But it's okay, because the band this year has been working really hard to raise money to get the new uniforms, and we only need about, oh, I don't know, $40,000? He said it, a fresh $40,000. But there is good news. So far, we've already raised 15,000. 15,000? I mean, that's not bad. And there's ways that all of us can help. So before we tell you how you can help them, we're gonna be telling you what the money's going towards. The money will buy new bibbers, new hats, new plumes, and new jackets. The band has already been doing a lot to raise money by doing things like having car washes, selling candy, or standing out in front of stores collecting donations. The main way you can help out the band is by donating. Any amount is welcomed and appreciated. You can take your money to Miss Kelly in the main office. Or you can take your money to Miss Ike in the Fine Arts Building. The band also has a GoFundMe campaign. To get to it, you just type www.gofundme.com slash cpzdts. So did you know? The average uniform has a lifespan of 10 years. And these uniforms are 14 years old. If you ask me, I think it's time they go. You know, Haley, it is important to remember that the school band is always there to give us pride and school spirit. That's why they're called the Pride of Kathleen Marching Band. So let's show a little bit of pride ourselves and help them out. Any donations are accepted. Hey, isn't practice about to start? Oh, we should get yeah. back to it. Here at Kathleen, we have rules. One of the main rules being the dress code. Make sure you guys remember exactly what it is, and if you don't, here's a little reminder. We're gonna play a little game called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. Head, no hats on your head. Shoulders, we don't wanna see them, cover them up. Knees, no holes or rips in the pants. And toes, keep them closed, no open-toed shoes. That's a quick little reminder about the dress code for you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. This is it for Ignition TV. I'm Alberto, signing out. No.